how to make a custom registration form on WordPress quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to make a custom registration form on a WordPress website. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website that you have. Now, if you have a website where you want to create a custom registration, where you want your visitors and customers to actually register, then you can create a form really easily using a plugin. That's what we will cover today in this video. Let's get into it. Once you get to the main dashboard of your WordPress website, you need to go to the plugin section. In plugins, click on add new. In Add Plugins, you need to search for a plugin known as Forminator. Once you search for Forminator, the first plugin that you will be getting is going to be this. Forminator Content Form, Payment Form, Custom Form Builder. It also allows us to create a registration form. It has more than 300,000 active installation and is compatible with my WordPress version. You're going to click on install now. Once it's installed, then you're going to click on activate. I have already installed it. That is why it says activate. So once the plugin is added, you will be able to find it with the rest of the plugins. And for me, you can see it is right here. Let's open it up. Forminator is actually a really easy to use plugin that allows us to create forms. We can create contact forms and registration forms. So today we will create a registration form. We can create it for free with the plugin. Once you get to the main dashboard, scroll down to the form section right here and create any type of form from one of your pre-made templates. So you can see I'm going to click on create. Now we have to choose a template. If you want to start from the scratch, add all of the different fields and, you know, build it from the blank, then you can select this. Then we have code request, contact us and registration. So let's go with the registration template so we have a better idea that what a professional registration form looks like. Click on continue. Then you're going to give your form a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a test user registration. So I will be able to identify it later. Click on create. And here we have our registration form created. So you can see what they have in the registration form. They have a username, email, and a password. So these are the fields that they have added with the template, but we will customize it and I will add more fields into it. All right, first of all, let's insert the fields. We want to, I want my customers to add a username, set up a username, email address, of course, and set up a password. Let's insert a few of the other fields. I'm going to click on insert field. And here we have name, phone, calculations, select, checkbox, or websites, address, time picker, file upload, captcha, HTML. We have all of these different options and fields that we can add. Currency, consent. Okay, so let's go with the name as well. So they have added a username and a name. Okay, then we have email phone. Let's add a phone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a select option in which I'm going to add countries. So these are the two fields that I want to add. You can see all of the fields are available. Select the one you want to go for. I'm going to scroll down to insert fields. There you go. Now this is what my form looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the password at the end. But now we actually need to do some settings. Select the username, label, username, enter username. Okay. It is going to be optional or you can also set if it's going to be required. So the username is required. Then we can also go with the styling and visibility. Moving on, we have email. For email, I'm going to again set the required field. Email is required. Then we have phone number. So the phone number is going to be optional. There you go. I'm going to select optional right here. Then we have select. Now in select, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings. Again, it's optional. So now we can go to the labels and we have single or multiple. So I'm going to select multiple and then we can add different options. You can see what they are selecting. So you can like add an option. This is what we have the two options. I'm going to like add them right here. The two options for my website and then we have password. Of course, they can set up any password they want and it is a required field. Minimum password strength. So I actually want a good password. So that's going to be the 
requirement. Now you can see I have added all of the fields that I want for my form right here. Let's move on to the appearance now to actually add what my form will look like. First of all, we have the design style. So you can see this is what it looks like. We can go with the default or flat, bold, material or none. So I'm going to go with the default one. And this is what the button will look like. Then we have the colors for our form and just the default color. So the default color is of course white, but we can select a custom color for the submission indicator, for the response error, for the multi-select submit button. So I'm going to change the color for the submit button, which is blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to maybe something else. Let's go with pink maybe, or maybe let's go with a darker blue. Perfect. Click on select and the color will be changed. This is how you can change the color. And then we have fonts. You can select a custom font as well for your different fields and for your different headings. Then we have field containers and custom CSS. So now this is done. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply all of the presets as well. Then we have user registration. In user registration, you can see this is what it will look like. Behavior. In behavior, we have submission behavior. Now, Submission behavior is choose what happens after a successful submission account registration successful. Click here to log into your account. This is what it says. But let's say I want to add another thing. I want to add maybe I want to add another text. I want to add in this text right here. So this is where you will select the submission behavior that what happens once the form is submitted. Then we have email notification. So if you want to send email notifications to your users that have signed up, then you can select this option and you can also add an email, an admin email where you will be getting all of the different notifications. Then we have applications that we can actually integrate to our Forminator. Okay, so now I think our form is done and you understand everything. Let's get a preview. Click on the preview section and it will show you what your form looks like. You can see we have username, email address, phone, select. Now, this is just an example. They can select like an agent or manager, set up a password and click on register. So this is what the form will look like. And we have created a very professional user registration form with our plugin for free. This is how you can also create your own custom user registration forms. Once the form is created, you can click on publish or save it as a draft. For now, I'm not going to publish it and click on save draft. All of the forms that you have created will be saved in your list. Let me show you. Let's go back to the Forminator dashboard. You can see it'll show you all of the forms that you have created and you can edit them out anytime you want. It will also show you the analytics and the stats for the form that you have created. To create a new form, again, click on create and you will be able to create as many registration forms as you want for a website, of course. And now you know how to create a custom registration form with Ferminator on WordPress. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.